Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the steps of programming your Yaesu FT817 or 818 and ND variants using a data cable and chirp. Now there's quite a lot of confusion around getting the radio to actually speak to your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through the steps on how to do that and successfully get the radio to speak to the computer using your correct matched cable. So without further ado, let's get started. When you buy these cables, please buy a genuine cable, a properly made cable. This one was $14.99. It came from Technofix. And um, I bought it through eBay, but it is a genuine cable and it is a very high quality cable. Now, the reason that I say that is because about a year ago, I bought a cable from eBay, which came from China. And when I got it, it didn't come with a driver to begin with. And secondly, this part of the cable, hopefully it's in focus, which is the business end of the cable, fell apart the whole casing came apart and just disintegrated in my hand after literally one or two plug-ins to the radio and i'm not even joking so when you get this from a good online store this one was 14.99 you will either get a cd or some paperwork so i got some paperwork here and it tells you which radio or radios it uh, it's compatible with, as you can see. So on here, we've got the 817, the 857 and the 897 from Yesu and the FT100. Now I can't vouch for any of these radios down below, but I do know that the 817 and the 857 will work with this cable because the method, I should say, in programming the radio is the same because I used both of these and programmed both. If you don't get a CD with it, what you'll normally get is a link to the uh, driver, which brings me on to one other thing before we do head over to the computer. When you download the driver, do not install the cable first, because if you install the cable before you install the driver, what will happen is Windows will install a generic driver and it just will not communicate at all with the radio. So install the correct driver first from either the CD or the paperwork and then install the cable. When that's done, we're good to go. So then we move on to the next step. Moving to the back of your radio now, if you've got the 817 or the 818, you want to plug your cable into the ACC socket. You've got two of these types of sockets on the back. You've got data and ACC. Don't get confused. If you plug this into the data socket, you will end up bending those quite delicate pins. Chances are it's going to snap and the cable won't be any more good. So if you're using an FT857 or an 897, you want to be plugging this into the CAT linear socket. But on this one, ACC. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and plug this in. Moving over now to the computer, we are now in Chirp. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is, I'm presuming that now you've connected your radio to the computer via the cable but don't switch it on just yet. Because when we turn the radio on, we want the radio to be in what's known as clone mode. And that's how we do all the programming. To switch the radio on into clone mode, take a look at this video that I'm gonna insert about now. Now, first of all, you want to go ahead and press the mode buttons on the top, just above the display indicated by a kind of a left and a right arrow. Hold those two buttons down, keep them pressed in and switch on the radio. When you've done this, when the radio turns on, it should make 
a quite a faint sound, but three small beeps. And that will indicate the radio is connected and it's connected to the computer. Now our radio is in clone mode. We can go ahead now and click on radio, download from radio. Give it a few seconds. And obviously select your radio. We're using the 817ND. And what you want to do is you want to press OK. Now before you press OK, when we press OK, we now need to go over to the radio. And I'm going to put a little video clip in when I do this, just to give you an idea of what you should be seeing. So when we press OK, we move over to the radio and we press button A. And what's happening then is the radio is transmitting all its data from its memory channels into Chirp. And then the list will be populated. Now I've wiped mine completely so I can go ahead and show you how to program it and upload some frequencies to your radio. So we shall go ahead and do that now. I will quickly put a repeater into location number two. Now the repeater I'm going to put in is a 70 centimeter repeater which is quite close to me and it is GV3WO. The receive frequency is 430975 and we'll go ahead and name that as GB3WO which is around around 12 miles along the coast from me. Uh, tone 88.5 and the offset is plus 7.6 megahertz and we'll change that to narrow and we're good to go now what you need to do is we need to go ahead now and send this to the radio so now what we want to do is go back to radio upload to radio and again, as we wait for it to pop up, I will show you a video clip of the process as it's receiving the data from the computer. On the radio, you'll see exactly what's happening. So what you want to do is at this point, you want to just press button C to make sure your radio is actually listening out for the uh, data. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And then we press OK. And then it will clone to the radio, as you will see. And that is pretty much it for this video. I hope this was of some help to you, because I know this will feel like, you know, everyday stuff and run of the mill stuff to some of you experienced hams out there. But the fact of the matter is, this really is for the new hams, new to the hobby, or maybe new to Yesu ownership, and who might not have necessarily read the manual on programming the radio. Because I didn't when I first got mine, and I got a little bit stuck. So, having said that, as you'll see, GB3WO is the repeater we programmed in, and it's working fine. And um, there we have it. That's pretty much it. So if this video was of some help to you, please do consider hitting that like button below. The other options there as well, I don't mind because at least the video is getting some interaction. If you're new to the channel, please do have a look around, see what you think. And if it's something that you'd like to subscribe to and see more of in the future from me, I really do appreciate every single subscription and it would be appreciated. So until the next video, guys, I'm gonna wish you all the best, 7-3. Stay safe and look after yourselves. I'll see you in the next one.